GPA? Grade point average. Grade point average. How many people know how to figure their grade point average? Great. I get to teach you that. Okay, so here we go. Pretend these are your grades. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven classes, right? Okay, so now what we need to do is figure out if you have an A, it counts as how many points? Four. 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 Uh, so what is a C? Two. 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 What's an A? Four. Now we add them up, 20 and 24. So we're gonna, now we're gonna take, and so, 3.42, so that means you're in between a what? A and B. A and a B. Some scholarships say you must have a what? You have to have a 3.5. Some scholarships say you have to have a what? 2.5. If this is your GPA, and you're aiming to go to college, and just because you go to college, that uh, college is always optional. <laughs> there are other ways to success besides college. What do you think you probably need to do? A's and B's. You need to have A's and B's, so you need to work on your what? Science. You need to work on your science, correct, okay? And you could possibly pull up your what? History. History, great, right? This is very important, because no matter how old you get, once you get in the ninth grade, your GPA will start counting, and it will be the GPA that will be your GPA for the rest of your life. Say, for instance, like me, you decide to go back to college because you want to be a teacher and change your major, and you're 35 years old. First thing I have to do is head back to my old alma mater, my high school, and go up to the office and tell them that I want my transcript. And my transcript will list all of my grades from 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th grade. And all of those grades will show my GPA from when I graduated. And then I take that transcript to the college. How embarrassing would it be that if you went back to your high school to get your transcript and you didn't have good grades? I know lots of people that happened to. One of the main reasons I got good grades when I was in school, you wanna know why? One was I wanted my transcript to look good. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I wanted to brag to my kids when I had kids. And did I? I sure did. I skipped all of my report cards. I have my transcript because I wanted to show my kids this is what my grade was and I want you to have the same and or better. How important is your um, GPA? Did you, did you realize it was that important? <clears throat> you kind of did, but did you know how to figure it up? So every time you get your grades, this is how you're going to figure it and you keep figuring it. And I wish someone would have shown me in the eighth grade because I didn't realize it until I was like in the ninth or tenth grade and I was like, oh, I need to keep up with my GPA. Every time you get your report cards, start figuring. Your GPA doesn't start counting for your transcript until you get to the ninth grade. However, some of you are in my honors class, not my English honors class, but I believe if you have the math, advanced math, I believe that it counts. It's, that will be your first grade on your transcript if you have that advanced math, okay? Yes. And physical science. And physical science. And some of y'all decided y'all wanted to get out of physical science. So guess what? You just did. You just messed up your transcript. I'm giving you this talk because it's not too late to change your mind. It's not too late to change your mind. So those two things, that's, that's like free stuff. You wanna know why it's free? Because you get to get a head start on your transcript before everyone else. To imagine the school thinking enough of your grades and you get a chance to get a head start on your transcript and then you change your mind and say, I don't want to do that. But nobody told you about this, right? Right? Come on, James told you because I want you to know better, okay? I'm going to teach you just like I treat my kids and I want you to know better. Imagine how wonderful it felt when my son graduated from high school and he had a 3.8, which wasn't a four, but it was good. He was the first person in our family male to graduate with honors. I was the first female. So he graduated with a 3.8 from what? High school? And guess what else? No, college. Oh. I don't have this talk with all my classes because I don't want to like put pressure on other people, but I'm having this class with, talk with you because you are a honors class. And if you'll look up here at my high school diploma, up here at the bin, I have a little gold thing on there. One little gold thing is from Honor Society, and the other gold thing is for Beta Club, and then it says underneath their Honor Diploma. The chance when you're in honors classes to be better. 